Hi, my name is Sergi Balta, and in today's video, we're going to talk about tethering. So after my previous video, um, some of you asked me a bit more about tethering and how I uh, actually achieve it, achieve it on my Fuji X-T4. And so I thought I would make a quick video about it. So yeah, let's just dive right into tethering. So basically, what is tethering? Tethering is just the process of shooting pictures with your camera connected to your computer. And this allows you uh, two things. Uh, first, to have a preview of the picture uh, that you are taking uh, with your camera. So this is extremely helpful in some situations where, for example, your camera is on a tripod really high and you cannot really have access to the screen. You can have a preview of what your camera sees. You can arrange elements that you want. Uh, for example, you know, in food photography, or in product photography. And you can arrange also, you know, set up the focus or the light while checking the preview on your computer. And that allows, helps you to basically have a better understanding of what's happening. I'm going to turn on the AC because it's super hot. And that's one of the first reasons. So having a preview of what's happening on your computer. The second uh, reason why you would like to use tethering also is to have uh, the pictures that you take directly save to your computer and also uh, depending on your settings at the same time on your memory card right so this is also one benefit of this particular method because you your pictures are directly saved on your computer so it, it helps you for your backup and it also helps you for the workflow you don't have to I don't know grab your SD card plug it into your computer and, um, you know, copy, copy all your, your pictures that way. Everything is already saved and you can directly edit it in your editing software. All right, so now that we know what uh, tethering is and why you would want to use it, uh, let's dive right into how you can do it. Basically, what you need in order to be able to uh, do some do some tethering is uh, first you need your camera and a camera that supports tethering so I currently own an X-T4 and uh, it supports tethering uh, perfectly so I don't have problem with that uh, you need a computer with an editing software um, either a Lightroom or Capture One so for tethering it's possible with Lightroom with using a Fujifilm camera but you will not have access to the preview mode that I talked about. You will only be able to um, capture your picture and see them directly on your computer. Um, so if you really want to do tethering and uh, enjoy all the capabilities of tethering, I would strongly suggest Capture One. Uh, also, uh, what, what you will need is, well, something to photograph and um, a tether cable, right? So um, in my case, it's a USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, you might need a uh, well, USB-2 uh, cable to uh, USB-C or to USB-B2, USB uh, depending on what um, your connection setup is. So you can either buy a tether cable, uh, which I don't have yet, actually. Uh, I'm using basically a data and power cable uh, that was uh, delivered with my Mac, uh, so that's what I'm using right now for uh, tethering. But um, it might create some errors, so if you want a tether cable, which is actually a full data-only cable, so the, the cable that I have is data and power, so tether cable is basically a data-only cable, reliable, 
and uh, usually quite long, right? So you can find on Amazon for about 50 bucks, which is quite pricey. I mean, in the research that I made. So that's why right now I'm using the cable that I have. Uh, I might invest in the future in that, but yeah, I don't know yet. I will, I will, I will think about it. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if you know some cheaper cables, it's cheaper and reliable. That's also what I'm looking for. And uh, yeah, I would appreciate that. All right, so now uh, let's dive right into uh, our setup. So today, what we're gonna photograph is basically mangoes. So what I'm gonna do is set up all my, uh, basically my food on, the, on, the, on my table, right? Uh, so as you can see, I'm setting up everything. Once I'm done setting up uh, the food, I will set up the light, the camera, connect my camera to my, um, to my computer, open Capture One, create a new session for the particular food that I'm uh, um, taking shot of, sh shots of right now. And uh, as you can see, if I click on the preview button that you can see right here, uh, I can have a preview of what my camera sees right now uh, of the scene. So if you're not satisfied with what your camera sees, you can adjust the elements of your composition on the table directly and see the results on your, on your computer. That facilitates your workflow. It facilitates uh, really like how you can compose stuff, how you can light stuff, because if you, if you don't like your light, you can see it directly. So let's try to take a picture right now. So if we take a picture, as we can see here, um, I'm not really happy with how the light is working. So I'm gonna move the light a bit, uh, add some, um, some fill lights uh, on the right side, take another picture and etc. etc. So, well, the tether, as you can see, the, the tethering itself is not a hard technique to do, but I just really want to show you how helpful it is for me because I can take a picture of a product or food, directly see the, see the results. And um, if I like it, well, I keep it that way. If I don't like it, I can change some components, um, take a picture and directly see the result. So yeah, so that's it for today. Uh, let me know if you have any question uh, in, the, in the comments. Um, if you enjoy the video, please consider to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye and see you in the next one.